Republicans and Democrats at the Minnesota Legislature are heading back toward gridlock with widely different ideas on how to spend a hefty budget surplus. Senate Democrats unveiled a plan for the $900 million sum today that would split the money between tax relief, a new preschool program, and other spending priorities. House Republicans want the entire sum dedicated to tax cuts well, and transportation, transportation funding. Well, we bill in conference. That's our position. And, and uh, it's... Uh, uh, it's got some license tab provisions in it. It's got some you know, gas tax provisions in it. And that remains our position that we're not going to use general fund money for transportation. Uh, there just isn't adequate general fund money to do that. Their proposed DFL Senate supplemental spending totals $789.2 million, leaving $111 million in reserve of the $900 million projected surplus. The highest priorities for the DFL caucus are $300 million in tax relief, $91 million for racial and economic disparity, $91 million, or $85 million for rural broadband expansion, and $60 million for natural resources, economic development, and agriculture. Uh, after the forecast, our job got a lot harder. Uh, we had an $800 million downswing in the tails, the out years. And as you've heard, that has been the real rub that we've had as we've tried to set these targets, is how we're going to deal with that. Uh, our intention is to be very cautious. I think the plan is to not do anything that would have any issues uh, negatively on the future budgets. We don't think Minnesota would be well served by that type of activity, so the Senate is not planning on doing that. Senate Minority Leader David Hahn issued a statement following the press conference saying the DFL spending proposal is reckless and unsustainable. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.